Hey guys, welcome back to more Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, and uh, we are just uh, saying goodbye to the Poonies here because uh, we just kind of finished chapter two, finally. Um, yeah, it's not, not a bad chapter, but the next, the next chapter, however, is very enjoyable for me. Anyways, you know, so now that we get right down to it, I'm so excited to see you go. Oh, me too. I'll miss, you. I'll miss you and your little squishy, squishiness. We'll work together from now on to prevent anything like that from happening again. Well, good. But you don't really have another crystal star to to, to cause all this mayhem again. But uh, that, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure you know that already. I'm kind of talking to the ponies here myself. Because, you know, why not? So we have to head back to the Thousand Year Door because after each crystal star we get, we hold a loft inside of the... Um, well, inside Rogueport sewers in front of the Thousand Year Door, and um, the location of the next crystal star appears on the map. Which is awesome, because, you know... Oh. Hear that? Someone's mailing you. I wonder if it's Princess Peach. Dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me. Oh, totally. <laughs> yeah. But please know I'm fine. I'm actually more worried about you. The fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the crystal stars. I'll try to learn what I can about them. I'll email again if I uncover anything, Okay. Or, in other words, as soon as chapter 3 is over. Uh, you must know I miss you. Lately, I've dreamt of you days back in the castle. Yeah, okay. Um, he, weird, he, she misses us because, you know, because we are just warm and fuzzy and, you know, like Mario. Like, who wouldn't miss Mario after a while away from him? Okay, and um, you might be wondering why I'm going this way instead of left to exit Boggly Woods. And you will see in a sec. We actually are going to visit uh, uh, to visit Flurry's house again because there is something there. If you m remember me saying that uh, we have to get, but we don't have to. But I am going to because of uh, my my completion uh, my completionist self. And uh, yeah, I kind of want to get that star piece in here. I think I think it's a star piece. Of course, it's a star piece. Anything. If anything's hidden under a panel, yeah, it's not here. I just felt like doing that. Um, if it's under, anything that's under a panel, it's going to be a star piece, and I'm pretty sure it's right here. Please be right. Yes. Okay, we got a star piece, so that's all we have to do here. So I, I may cut to um, back to Rogueport Sewers. Um, it depends if I have anything um, of worth to say, which is probably not the case. So most likely, I will be cutting. sewers and I'm pretty sure yep oh yeah star piece I, I'm I'm just getting some of these on, on the top of my head here I'm going to miss some and I'm going to have to look them up or have someone tell me because uh, um, my memory's good but not that good <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to remember everything oh but I do I did just think of another one that I didn't get and oh my god ah oh and also this uh, th this is pretty obvious you were probably thinking at the beginning of the game what the hell's with that? Well, you squeeze um, Flurry's boob and you get the hidden treasure chest. It's happy RP that I will never use. But it's a badge, so so I'm going to use it. I mean, use it. I'm going to collect it and, you know, I'm going to accept it in my collection of, of items. And um, right here is a star piece. Oh, yeah. Happy face. Happy, happy, happy face. Okay, now I'm going to just use this airplane, mobile, fighter jet, paper style, and we are back at the thousand year door. 
And I'm, I'm pretty sure there's one down here, actually. No. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure there is. Oh, yep. Well, I was right on top of it that time. I, oh, come on. Oh, seriously, you're gonna you're gonna play this game? Game, you're gonna play this game? You're gonna play this game, game? Oh my God. Is it Cuckoo Bellas on it? There we go. Jeez. That was ridiculous. That was redonkulous. Anyways, we are back. Here we go again, Mario. Let's see that crystal star. Yeah! The Emerald Star of Destruction. It's pretty cool that all the stars are named after gems. The first one was a blue one? Was it a blue one? I think... No, I don't... Oh, I don't know. If it was blue, it was sapphire. That's just, that's for sure. Anyways, we get this uh, whole little uh, dramatic scene again. Like, uh, each time we get a crystal star, uh, flashy lights, blah, blah, blah. And here is the location of the next crystal star. What? Oh, this looks interesting. It really does, doesn't it? It looks like a city in the sky. Oh, reminds me of Twilight Princess. Such an awesome game. There it is. The resting spot of the next crystal star. Totally awesome. But it looks like it's pointing somewhere up in the sky. Huh? What could that mean? Hmm. Oh, that's a good question, Goombella. You pose a very interesting question. <laughs> that means that beneath this town, the thousand year door old, thousand old, you know what, I'm just not even gonna bother. <laughs> oh, there's something in the trash there. And that door has been sealed shut for thousands of years by the crystal stars. In order to open that seal, we have to muster the power of all the crystal stars. But the question is, why did they seal the legendary treasure away to begin with? I mean, were they just trying to keep it from being stolen, or what? No, that's not... What? That's not what? What? I don't know! Oh. Why didn't you say so? Sheesh, Professor. <laughs> I'm sorry, so sorry. I know that the treasure was sealed away in the around the time the town was destroyed. But the problem is, no one's even sure what it was what they called the Black Abu. And all that's written is this. Darkness stole the sky and the cataclysm rained down. What an epic line. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, it's called Glitzville, the town. And we have to... Yep, it's floating. Well, how are we supposed to get there, then? This I won't skip. A special blimp flies there. It departs from Rogue, Rogue Port several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through certain channels. What? What channels? Stop being mysterious. How do we get seats on the ship? Hmm, I don't know, but I guess we don't have much choice. Word on the street is, all tickets go through Don Pianta on the west side. Head west from Rogue Port's main plaza and you'll reach the west side of town. Oh, really? <laughs> the part of town is under- that way, that part of town is under control of Don Pianta, the Pianta syndicate head. Oh yeah, they're, they're straight up gangsters. Seriously. Pretty much, uh, they're Piantas from, uh, Super Mario Sunshine. You found a scrap of paper in the garbage and info about Vivian. Oh, Vivian! I never got to, uh, tattle her. Well, thank you, game. That was interesting. Uh... Okay, um, I'm just gonna show you this. I don't think I ever showed you this before. You can go back here. And... There is a... Star piece back here. I I'm pretty sure you, you can see it. Oh, there's also... Wait. Oh, no, I thought there was one here. Never mind. Um, but yeah, you can uh, pretty, you can see that star piece later if you go on the roof, which you can access um, pretty much just later in the game. How many shine sprites do I have? Can I up, can I upgrade anyone else? I wonder. Um, it would help if you yeah. Eh, oh yeah, we can definitely. Let's power up coops. Shazubi. Shazubi. Boom. And Koops is powered up. Oh, he looks so badass there. Care to power up more? Oh, why, yes, I do. Let's power up Flurry. If your next power up is bigger boobs, I'm going to kill myself. Power! Then you may go. 
Oh, well, thank you. Well, she has 25 HP. That is a lot. And uh, Koops has Shell Shield, which is okay. And Flurry has Lip Lock, which I have no experience in using because I do not like Flurry. I know I probably shouldn't have powered her up if I don't like her, but... Also, there's a Star Piece right here, outside of Frankly's in the Shine Sprite house. Anyway, did I... Is there anything back here? I don't remember. No? Well, I, I guess not. So let's go back to the main plaza. Because... Oh, look, there's Luigi. Uh, Luigi has a, uh, there's a huge backstory in this game that I have no time to go through. But it's, it's really funny. Also, star piece. Right in it. Goobella, you fat ass, move it! God damn it! I'm sh uh, if that, I, seriously, if that's the reason why I can't get that, that's stupid. Oh, this guy. He, he's pretty much a wandering merchant that wanders just here. And I uh, can't really afford anything. Uh, let's just buy the repel cape because once we buy an item, he doesn't sell it again. So uh, we'll have more chance of getting new items that stay because uh, repel cape is very expensive. You know, it's only 18 coins, so whatever. Also, oh what? Oh good, okay. Uh, earlier we had to buy a contact lens, and uh, here it is. Uh, what? Oh, oh, god damn it! Okay, no, I don't want you to explain it again. Okay. By contact lens, and we got it. So, yeah, what he was explaining was, um, yeah, <laughs> that uh, it's a point system. It, no matter, the more items you buy, the more, uh, what do you call it? You, 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 you pretty much uh, stock up points, and you can use points to get free items. And yes, I brought you your contact lens, Miss Bitch. I'm just kidding. Yeah, you're you're rightfully bitchy. Be careful now. People don't generally like having their stuff stomped on. Okay, and she's actually kind of important. Uh, she can now cook uh, food for you. And uh, this, do I even do we even have the recipe book yet? No, we don't. Uh, a recipe kind of thing uh, pops up later, and uh, we can kind of do stuff with that. Like a mush, you can give her a mushroom, and she cooks something. With that mushroom, and it's uh, it's pretty much uh, stuff like that. Uh, so, what was I gonna do now? Brain fart. Let's just go to the west side. West side story. Oh, the west side. I love this place. Ooh, star piece. They're behind here. <laughs> also, star piece there. So yeah, uh, free star pieces all around. Pretty great. And my nose is acting up, that's awesome. Oh god. And my commentary is horrible today, I am sorry. Also, there's a star piece behind that trash can. So, um, racking up those star pieces, pretty great. And, uh, what? Are, yeah, that's what we have to do. Uh, ha ha ha. Oh, game, you are confusing me. We cannot go see Don Pianti yet because we don't know how to get to him. And to figure out how to get to him, I, I think you have to go see Professor Frankly first and then he kind of gives you a hint on how to figure out how to get in also this billboard if you look behind it it's just the same as the um, the uh, 64 version which is uh, kind of you know I just realized I say uh a lot like seriously I hope you don't mind that because I really can't help it this that's just seriously how I talk <laughs> um, see there I go but uh, yeah uh, yeah, same as, uh, there's a lot of uh, similarities between uh, the 64 version and this version. Um, okay, we're gonna have to talk to this guy. Okay, and we are not paying you. I can take you on, bitch. Okay, at the beginning of the game, you could have challenged him, but he probably would have kicked your ass. But now that we are way more experienced, I can smash him. Um, wait a sec. I'm afraid of that spear. Am I? I don't think I'm able to jump on him. Um. Hey, let's use that repel cape we got. I'm not ever gonna use it anywhere else, anyways. Oh, can't touch this. Oh, ho, ho, what'd I say? Oh, uh, that's fine. <laughs> Boom! And uh, now I'm going to tattle him. Because I could just get him from, uh,. Frankly's trash can, but I want to know how much HP he has. Oh god, he's throwing a spear at me. 
You son of a bitch! Now I can switch from Goombella to Koops because... Uh, Koops is a lot more powerful now that he's got powered up by a person. Yeah, he has threes now. Which is great. And y'all, oh, you missed. Lol, 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 lol. I will kill your face because you have 9 HP left and that's one less than 10. Oh, you just got hit again and you now have 6 HP. And you missed me again. La 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 la. Wait, is it always a miss or is it just a chance of missing? Because he's missed me all like three times so far. Not that I'm complaining. Kaboom! You have one health left, bitch. Oh, he's throwing something at me. It's not nice. If he would have tried to charge at me, I would have tried to super guard. I would have tried a little super guard finish there. Ooh, lots of star points. 19 to be exact. Crud, you dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. You, you think violence solved everything, don't you, huh? Don't you? Oh, yeah, hypocrite. Anyways, now we have permanent access to the east side, well, the far east side, I guess, of Rogueport. But, sadly, I am, well, I'm, I'm over 15 minutes by now. So, uh, I will call it quits for this video. Apologize for the bad commentary, and uh, I'm going to save right over here. And when we, uh, when we come back, we will figure out how to get to Don Pianta, in which case we will find out how to get a blimp ticket to go to Glitzville and start off Chapter 3, because we are just kind of in an interlude right now. So, thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.